And you're going to do something quite extravagant today, aren't you, for our well, Valentine's meal? So there are two dishes. One is the mussels and coconut cream with ginger and chilli. And one will be baked apples, oh. so it pairs on this one, with rosemary and cloves. Oh, yes, yes. Therefore, the whole idea is to start the mussels. Now, well, people can be nervous about mussels, can't they? Yes, they do, because, um, as we know, the mussels muscle, are like filters in the sea. Therefore, they will cap anything which is obviously impurities. But those ones can come from Scotland, Ireland, and the, the water is relatively very cold. Uh, obviously, there is a lot of current, very deep water. Therefore, what happens is you get the best nutrition in the, in the mussels. Now, what we have for the dish, we have some fennel, some ginger, some chili, shallots, a bit of spring onions, some garlic and lemon. Mm -hmm. What I want to do is to introduce everything into a pan with no oil. <gasps> the whole, that's a lot that's of chili. No. no, sorry, th that was just a display. Uh, Thanks oh. for saving my life. <laughs> I was going to say, but, but you did say Valentine will be hot. <laughs> <laughs> and the whole idea is to put everything in a dish, in a pan, pardon, very hot. We're going to cover it. And obviously, because we're dealing with some fresh produce, everything will steam out. Therefore, that's why you don't need to put any fat, like oil and so okay. on. Okay. First things. What we have after, we have the, the, the mussels, which are, as I said, come from a very specific part of Britain, like the old Scotland, uh, Ireland, and so on. Because the water, the Atlantic, obviously, is very And cold. they have to be closed, like this? They have to be you, closed. When you buy closed, them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, bear in mind, it takes about three years to grow. That means there is maturity, there is textures and flavours. And it takes less than a minute to, to cook. Therefore, as soon as we make like a cushion of uh, aroma or flavours, if you may, with a bit of black pepper, you can have a little bit of uh, cumin, coriander, uh, fennel seeds and so on, if you want to. And then what you do is to plunge in, at the last minute, your mussels, so like so. there's no liquid in there, then? Absolutely not. Oh, OK. And or if there is a little bit of liquid, it's from the mussels, and that will permit to make a lot of uh, liquid for the sauce to be reduced. Now, what's happened? This is very hot, and I'm just about to burn my fingers. Oh, OK. Oh, there we are. And basically, Give about one minute. Now the Just a minute? About a minute. The thing is, if you overcook them for, for the sake of safety, like you said mm. early on, people are not sure. Yes, you're right. They can contain impurities if they come from different type of water. But this one has been clean. They've been kept in the fridge with clean water for two days. Eventually, so is it, you know they're cooked when they open then? That's right. So as soon you as have they to be closed open. when you buy them, and then when they're cooked, they open. That's so right. if it's closed, don't eat it. Don't prize it open. Trying to avoid it. it. Yeah. Don't overforce the, the opening. Yeah. Now, you can see clearly, they just this is probably 120 degrees. It's very hot. Therefore, the water, the steaming from Ooh, the veg, are permitting to steam. Steaming is probably the most direct way to cook anything. Are they opening Perfectly. because they're alive? They are alive and they also cooked enough. And that's the problem, people overcook them. Therefore, what I do now is I'm going to put them over there into this calendar. If I may first, I want to make sure. And that's the thing, this is just, just good enough. Therefore, what I do now is to do two things which are very important. That's so quick. The first thing is to steam my muscles oh, to allow oh. every one of them to be completely yeah. and entirely cooked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in the same time, I want to I want to keep the separately all the, the liquid. Yeah. And with this liquid, I'm going to make my beautiful coconut sauce. Oh. Now, okay. the mistake anyone will do is, <clears throat> is to mix this with the coconut. The coconut is very expensive. It's full of uh, flavors, but also there's a lot of thickness. Now, you can see clearly. If Does I was coconut milk? Uh, cream. cream or milk also you can use. Mm. Now if I mix both of them together, it's not going to work. That means the coconut cream will have to comp uh, composite, obviously. will have to compromise. That means you'll have to reduce the coconut cream. That, that means you dilute all the flavors. And what I've done is to get the same reductions down to many minimum. So that was your juice That's from it. your muscles, yep. right? And what we do is to add, even so, less coconut cream. Like so, just enough for the flavors. Therefore, because I don't have to reduce the coconut cream, and in the same time, I manage to, to infuse the coconut and the muscle reduction yeah. together. Mm, it smells lovely. Now, the last thing we need to do now is to introduce selection of herbs like coriander, mint, basil, anything, anything green, which obviously will be nice and healthy. And then, one, one thing I like very much is you can actually eat your vegetable in the same time as a garnish. Mm -hmm. And then basically, 
plongée with fenugreek. So it includes the vegetables. Sí. And do you put this juice back in as well? Then? The juice can be obviously cut or add. Mm -hmm. But what is very important is the mussels are just cooked perfectly. Therefore, they both at the right place and they cook perfectly. Mm -hmm. Then it goes into this little container. <laughs> now, what we do in my cookery school or in my restaurant is we use straws. And especially mm -hmm. like Valentine's Day, straws, straws, straws to, to, to the juice. Loving people ah, is to suck the juice first. 